hey, long time no see. It has been a long time that I didn't post any video. And that's because I'm working a lot. But if you still have any questions about digital circuits, or want some personal lesson to explain something, please contact me. You might think that now I have some time to record video, but I'm still working as hard as usual. My work routine wasn't affected at all, and that's because I'm working at home office for almost two years. And I know that now many people are trying to work at home, uh, trying to compensate, but you know, that's not so easy. And I'm trying to give here some tips to help you understand how you can start working at home and how you can evolve your home office. Many people have a hard time to focus when start to work at home. So when you make a start ritual, making the same steps every day, you are practically teaching your brain that after two steps, it's time to work. For me, as an example, I always dress like I was going to work. So I put my shirt, put my trouser, put my belt, take a little coffee, and now I'm ready to start working. Again, many people have a hard time to focus. So when you have a separated room to work, it really helps. So stay away from corridors or from places where many people are in your house. If it's still difficult to you, try a room with a door. Close it and think that you're really at the office working as usual. And that brings another point. A positive point of working at home is that you are able to help your family with something. However, uh, people must understand that you're working and you also need to understand that you're working. So define the start time and end time and in between them, focus on work. Ask for everyone at your house to try to don't talk to you because you're not at home, you're at office. Make them understand that. So, now that I talked about the usual tips, let's enter on the fun stuff. Your new office is at your home, so you can make whatever you want on it. Be sure to have a comfortable chair, guarantee that your monitor is at your eye level, your keyboard is in a good position, and that sort of stuff. But not only comfort, focus on fun, some cool pictures or paintings and those sort of things. If you're like me and working at home office for a long time, you can even make some investments on video chat settings, like a new microphone or lights or even a new webcam. Now let's be more specific. IT guys, let's talk. So it's pretty common that when you're working at home and you need to make some software, some hardware or some technologic project, uh, you need a connection like a VPN or need to use specific tools. So what you can do is automatize what you can. Yeah, so I'm talking about scripts, about startup process and those sort of things. I, when I start my computer, I configure it to run some scripts so it connects to the both VPNs that I must access and start any tools that I require. That way, when I start working, I almost don't have to worry about setup. Okay, now you have a very cool and comfortable place to work at your home. So what's my next tip? But wait, don't follow this tip now. We are not in a situation of going out at home with no reason, right? However, when you work at home office for a long time, like me, almost two years, things get a little stale and boring. So when you go out to a coffee shop or something like that, uh, you make contact with people, you have a new scenario, you have a background noise, and those kind of things really helps when you have a long time making home office. And that helps you to have a little more focus. 
sometimes when you get the same setting and the same process every day, you start to get bored. And when you change the page, you have a new place to work, it really gives a shine and helps you to get focus on a specific job. The place that I recommend you to go are coffee shops, co-working places, or anywhere where you have a comfortable seat, some plugs, and an internet connection. And finally, the last and most important tip of all. Well, put yourself in the place of the ones that work with you. Uh, it's much more easy to just talk with someone that's right in front of him. And that's because if someone needs to talk to you, it needs to write a message, write an email, or make a video call. And that's more work. If it's more work, it's more likely that your friend will talk to someone right next to him. Because of that, it's essential that you're always available. And that means always check the Skype notifications, always check emails right when they arrive, or be ready to answer video chats at all time. Just to give an example, I have a tablet right next to me all the time. That tablet I use to choose my music, but also I use it to uh, have the notifications right in my face as soon as an email or some message arrive to me. And I try to make a less than one minute time response. So within one minute, I try to respond every single message or email. And that's very important to reduce the work. If people see that you respond very quickly, they are more likely to talk to you and you're not left apart. So that's it. I hope those tips help you working at home. And if you have any questions, leave a comment that I will most certainly respond. Thank you.